Hey guys, I'm Josh and we're in the Hutcherson Center and this is where our women's volleyball team plays and our men's and women's basketball team. Um, if you look around, uh, you can tell it's a, it's a brand new court um, and a very nice facility. Um, you'll see our national championship banners, all the red banners that you see, all of those belong to men's or women's indoor or outdoor um, track and field, um, except for one um, and that belongs to men's soccer. Our men's soccer team uh, went down to Florida in 2017, ranked 23rd in the nation, had to have a play-in game to get into the championship, um, and won the semifinal and quarterfinal games on uh, penalty kicks, and finally the championship game on a golden goal opportunity, so a fantastic story. Um, but our track and field program is our most successful uh, program as far as national championships go. Um, every single year, um, between the really four distinctive sports, men and women's indoor and outdoor track and field, they have an opportunity to, to win a national championship. Uh, behind me, you can see some of our Flying Queens banners. That's our women's basketball team. Um, the AAU championship banners that they have. Um, we're actually going to go into their locker room and talk a little more about their history. All right, guys, now we're in the Flying Queens uh, locker room, which is one of our premier locker rooms that we have here at Wayland Baptist University. This one for sure did not come without a lot of hard work and history. Our women's basketball program um, is the winningest collegiate basketball program um, in all of the United States. Um, we're talking UConn women, Tennessee women, uh, UCLA men, Duke men, anybody you can think of. Uh, Wayland Baptist University Flying Queens has more wins than any of them. Um, and that Flying Queens name I, I know might sound a little strange to you, but it has um, a really neat story behind it. Um, the girls were beating everybody in this area and so a local aviator uh, Mr. Hutcherson said hey let's take these girls and try to find some competition so they started flying all over the country um, playing basketball games and in the early um, 50s and 60s and stuff they were they had the longest win streak in collegiate basketball history as well 131 games in a row um, that record still stands today so um, the program itself um, was nominated for the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame um, several times and, and um, before they got in they were losing to the names of like Shaquille O'Neal, Allen Iverson, Tom Izzo, Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady, Cheryl Swoops. Just to give you an idea, we're talking about um, the greatest names in basketball history. Um, but in 2019 our girls were finally enshrined into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame which is something we're very proud of um, and it has a ton of um, awesome rich history um, included. So um, now let's go check out another piece of the Hutch. All right guys, we're here in the entryway of the Hutcherson Center, and what you'll see up here is end-to-end, wall-to-wall trophy cases. Um, and this has things like um, individual awards, like All-American status, and um, uh, team awards, national championships, and things like that. Um, but the one thing that I really want to point out is a, an overall Wayland um, uh, competition, and something that um, we're really proud of is the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. This is a competition put on by the NAI, and there's over 300 NAI schools in the United States that compete for this and Wayland consistently finishes in the top 10. Um, to do this, I mean, you have to have other sports pull their weight as well. We've, we've spoke a little bit about women's basketball, men's soccer, um, uh, track and field, but all of our sports have to be doing a good job and they do a really good job. Um, the other sports we hear, have here at Wayland are uh, men's football, women's volleyball, men's and women's cross country, uh, men's and women's wrestling, uh, men's basketball, um, Let's see, we have the, um, the baseball program, um, the cheer and dance program, men's and women's golf. Um, and, and so all of our programs here um, compete at a very high level and um, it's something that you can be a part of. Um, I hope that you liked this video. Um, if you wanna check out the other videos on the uh, Campus Tour playlist, that'd be awesome. Um, and if you'd like to apply to Wayland, go to wbu.edu and click the apply button. Thanks.